there are lots of pirates in past lives. That's something cool. There's lots of warriors in past lives. That's something cool. There's lots of saints in past lives. That's something cool. There's lots of aesthetics in past lives. That's something cool. There's lots of animals in your past lives. That's something cool. There's lots of fill this in right now, and that's something cool. Past lives, all the past lives are cooler than our, our lives now. What we have available to us right now in this life is the media that we can watch, uh, having sex, which is available in, in all the lives, and then like building a family within these constructs that you know. So it's like being thrown in a world, your, your child being thrown in, in, in a world that you, you know, they don't know and you know. So it, it's a good feeling and it's humbling to, to feel that you know they don't know. I'll bring them onto, in, on or into that path so that they'll know one day. And then that, that's my guide as a guide. So even if you're a parent, then you're, you're already beginning to train as a spiritual as a spiritual guide. Now, I see the way that when I see, when I see the word master, I see that there's lots of there was uh, African people who somehow were taken from their land and, and used as slaves, and they had to call using the English language that person master because it's a master slave. But. There's no other word for it in, 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 in the traditions of India, and in, in, in then you say you say guru, and all and all that type of stuff. But then you're saying then you're saying master, and then people are calling themselves masters, talking about masters when they're not authentic masters in this life. They're not authentic masters because I think you just think that an authentic master is is not going to is not going to formulate himself. For his audience, an authentic master is going to say exactly what he knows and let the audience form around him out however long it takes. If, if a master is not trying to get to a point one day where he can say whatever he wants to, then that, that guy's not a master that you can call a master. Now, there's the only thing, the only guy that I see doing what I'm trying to get to is is the is the guy. His name was Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh, and we, in the last month of before he died, a month after I was born, he named himself Osho, which it means Zen priest, high, the highest Zen priest of, of the world. Osho is high Zen priest. That sounds pretty cool. A high Zen priest. I like that name. High Zen priest. Before that, his whole life was his name he was called Bhagwan Tri Rajneesh. So this Bhagwan Tri Rajneesh guy the whole time. In every single lecture that you see, this guy says master at least like a thousand times. So what this guy's doing it is he, he he's aware of everything. So He's kind of, he's kind of trying to make, trying to lighten up the humor of it and take away the power of the word master and slave. He knows what he's saying. He knows what he's doing. But but if you if you grew up in the West, I guess it's it's difficult to to say master anymore. So like I don't want any of the masters from the West. Like I agree with that uh, that 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 guy with that long beard, and nobody should be calling themselves masters unless they understand and are on the caliber of someone like Lao Tzu, someone like Chunk Tzu, someone like Zen Master High Priest, someone like I would say, um. All those other ones, uh, damn! All these cr these crazy mystics in the past who put their life on the line for this knowledge, okay? People who have put their lives on the line so that people don't stay blinded and 
stuck in their way in, in this crazy Maya world. People who are, who are doing things that are invisible that you can't see. Not people who are just doing this out of their good heart. Like people who love and care so much that they want to gain all this knowings, different knowings, so that they don't in the when they look at the past they, they didn't say or do something that was against a knowing that they could they could have known it or that wasn't from their initial raw being so I don't want anyone to be calling themselves masters because this is not India anymore we're trying to bring the east to the west and the west to the east right this is not masters anymore. You bring, you bring, you bring those words here, and then you see slaves, and you, you see, you see, you see like it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, cause it's like, it's like if you can think of it this way. It's like our own past killed ourselves out of ignorance. So now, if, if you're doing things out of ignorance, there's no real use for it in the eye sense of it unless you get to that caliber. It doesn't mean you get a, a massive following or whatever. It means that you stick to the roots of the old age that are useful and you use what's available in the new age that's useful for you for your own message but not the swayed message of other people so that they can like you so that you can get a mass following because all these people have uh, massive followings see me I'm a disciple I'm just a disciple of my master Who's my master? My master is existence. My master is the universe. That doesn't make me a slave, okay? I'm not a slave for that. My spiritual guide is who guides me, and that's so that's who I love. But then, if, if you keep if people keep using the word master, and you're not from the east coming to the west, if you're not from a different world from the east coming from the west. And you're just copying from, you're actually copying from ba Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh, all you people. I can see it in all you people. You guys are all copying from Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh. When the, when Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh is saying, you call me Osho from now on. Because it's an old show. This is an old show. And it's going to take a long time for people to get it. That's why it's still here. This is an old show world that we're viewing. So, he wants you to be Zorba. That means be an original. Be the West. What Osho wanted in, 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 in his last messages were for you to be like Zorba. Now, I don't even know if all you guys have read the book Zorba. It's called Zorba the Greek. Now this guy is a wild western man. What it means is this guy indulges in, in, in everything that the west provides and he relieves himself of it. That means he throws himself completely into situations until he's relieved of it. This is what he, he wanted from the west. This is the type of master that he wanted from the west. He wanted a Zorba. What are we do? What are you, all you, you master guys doing? You guys are copying him exactly, saying the master of this, the master of that, the master of this, the master of that. But unless you, unless you're being authentic in the way that Lao, Lao Tzu was being authentic, unless you're being authentic, that means being honest yourself, not 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 trying to gain fame, not trying to gain favor, or any of these type of things. Or trying to get people to like you right right away if you want every person in front of you to like you then don't call yourself a master okay every single master of the past or the, the four founders of the past they're they're blunt and 
they are so authentic and so outside of their own times and so ahead of their own times that they were just fighting for what they knew was true. They weren't they weren't just wishy washingly getting away with it. They would offend you right away. Now, Master Me, that, that means if somebody's trying to play mind games with you and, you and you're playing with them, if you don't cut their game right away and win, then how can you even associate yourself with the name Master? Master, is, are, there's two elements to it. It means master slave. So you guys are all my slaves. And when you, from a viewpoint of the wet of the West, you see everything as like those are my slaves. So for instance, I'm the shepherd, and you guys are my sheep. And you bring that into in, in, into Western culture, and you see master slave. And you got you got to look at all the past histories of everything. By the time that slavery even existed, and then how different people in their past lives feel about this slave type of thing. How many people were slaves in the past life? How many people were slave masters in the past life? There's the masters of uh, of different type of things, but the, the general hue that that Osho was trying to bring out is to change the power of the word master into to bring the east to the west so that he could he could bring the idea of, of, of master and so that you think of master then in, in the conscious the general global conscious of people you think of somebody like Lao Tzu who is the creator of Taoism and the, and the creator of the I Ching because when you look at this type of thing, it's very deep knowledge. Very deep knowledge. So if you if you can point everyone's psyche towards the deep, the deep, deep knowledge, and to rearrange people's psyche, and this guy's coming from the east, so this is his job. This this is his job. He's the only one that can do it. The masters that you, that are coming from the west can't do it, and are doing it wrong, and are not being authentic. Or you call yourself Guru. Guru still comes roots from it, from the India. Be your own thing in this Western life, and then then we can bring the East to the West. Now I don't understand why you guys are trying to just say we're bringing the East to the West by dressing like we have always, like we like we dressed in the West, talking how we talk in the West, using the same manipulation that we use from the West. That's not bringing the East to the West. That's just putting the title of the from the East onto the West. What bringing the East to the West means is using the Western land as our own East. So you're using the natives and the Mayans, just as an example. That that, that type of energy, that type of unique expression so that we can have a globalized world your own unique expression you can't just call you guys are going to call yourself guru and then you're going to teach the same thing that's easy to teach your being is what's supposed to shine through i see a few people who are starting to become rude to, to, to their, their disciples and stuff which you call them disciples but they're not these people around you guys are not your disciples so how can you be a guru people around you are not your disciples so how can you be a master these people around you aren't authentically gonna fall at your feet these people are, are not authentically gonna give up their life in this life they're just there so they can have something around them that's different they're, they're, they're just there to be like a third wheel. They're there just to tag along so they can have something special that goes with their lives. A lot of people in, in their past lives have, str have struggled with enlightenment and meditation and, and stuff like that. 
so my it a lot of it has to do with past lives so initially they gotta connect to their past lives so you gotta get them to meditate to their past lives but then the, e the ego's in the way so you try to manipulate them so that they become enlightened or get more meditative so that they can respect you more they have to they have to feel complete disrespect for you why is this because it's the West they don't respect it if, if they're if honest with themselves they're conditioned not to respect it so to, to be you can't just sneak this shit in the way that we have because you guys are, are getting spiritual e e egos because of that and you're, t you're teaching your real disciples wrong you're teaching your real disciples not to be unique uh, expressive individuals like I want to see women with with some sick face paint on I want to see women with I'm talking about women so-called gurus I want to see you guys be wearing something super sick. I want to got see see you know and and then for guys I I, I don't want to see you guys wearing that western stuff saying that this is the the western stuff that we worn we worn our whole life. This is the western way of a of, of a western so-called master. Because you're looking like the actual masters who were slave owners of our real masters because the real masters uh, back in back in the days our four founders as human beings the the oldest human being that you could find was uh, in Africa and he had dark pig, pigmented skin so now you're taking the, the, the stuff from the West and you're saying this is our way that we do it and this is the way that it's going to be done throughout society that's why she was that's why uh, she was gonna come in into that and show you and lots of people are, are emerging now who can who can be Western masters that can give a certain hue into this life that's more than just what we're sh uh, showing each other because we're showing what we're showing each other is not a real step into mysticism you're just showing people like, oh, this is an average thing that average people can do. It's not true. If you're being honest, it's not true. Mystical things do happen. But lots of mystical things do happen. Lots of strange, crazy, mystical, almost you could perceive as in the Western uh, perception and from their viewpoint as evil. Things that can happen through meditation, things that these ty these type of things that have happened to these so-called masters and these so-called gurus that are usually uh, what what are they? They're they're Caucasian wearing uh, a college a collared just plain shirt, and they're they're so so that people are coming in and seeing that oh this is just a plain normal thing. It's not true. You guys aren't being real representatives of mysticism. You guys aren't being real representatives of enlightenment. You guys are not being real representatives of yourselves as you would want to express yourself really to these people. And and, and, and you know these people are doing these type of things. So you, you fall into, this, even as enlightened beings, you guys are, are falling into society's trap. We are supposed to be the, the type of dad who says, don't do that. We're supposed to be the type of mom who says, "Don't do that." What are we? What are we doing? We're trying to be all with peace, bro uh, brothers and sisters type of thing. It's not the case. There's no peace, brothers and sisters anymore. When we're making nuclear warheads and drones, and we're we're, we're at war right now, and there's all this killing going around us, and all this famine going around us. If you ignore that stuff, then you have no backbone or base to what you're saying you're just sticking to one half of what you're saying and you're, you're changing your natural polarities from from 50 50 to 70 30 and you're trying to be 70 percent nice 30 percent um yourself and trying to sneak in your the other half of, your, uh, of yourself and of, of your own expression the you every master that, uh, that that you can call a master that is of, of came from the east None of them were called masters. They they had their own name for that type of stuff. Now, if you're from the West and you're saying master, 
then the, the immediate thing that you see is master slave master slave and we mastered and, and enslaved this whole world okay and that doesn't make us them real masters so it doesn't make you guys real masters if, if, if you title you, you yourselves masters guys aren't the masters like you guys aren't real gurus of enlightenment guru means you're the master uh, or to call yourself a master what we're trying to do is is try to get the, the association of, of master with to be within the guidelines of connotation of enlightenment so you're the master of enlightenment so that it always points back towards enlightenment and pat that uh, points back toward what matters most is yourself inside of you it's what matters most so it matters to most to me and it's what matters most to the master now so a so-called uh, master is not going to be someone like Yuji Krishnamurti who is a real master see a real master is going to shake you up and he's going to point towards you and it's going to and it's going to be opposite of what you think it to be so now when you when you're creating a, a certain image when you're collectively creating a certain image of what the newfound western master is you're going backwards in time and sticking with the same image that enslaved um, black people in the US and we're ignoring it because of all these hippies that came around and said everything's peace and now because they knew in their mind they knew that they were the race in power so every, everything's peace and to create love in your heart what, what, what are we going to do we're going to create this hippie stuff so it's all going to turn into peace 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 what did it, what happened eventually a it started to become multicultural and then they and then black people became accepted into society why did that have to happen in the first place? Because there's no, um, I would say for one, there is no Western master, enlightened master to, to, to guide these people. For two, the knowledge of like that type of stuff wasn't available in, in, in books and stuff. And people were, were poor and they were enslaved, so they had no choice because they were chained to be this type of thing. So if you guys were all, and, and now I'm not, you, you just got to level with me here. The Caucasian people who were enslaving the African people, the Negro people, were the masters and the Negro people were the slaves and the masters were Caucasian and we we're from the West. So in the West, the natural connotation from of the West is ma is master is the Caucasian guy who's against the slave. And then you go into the East and there's this master and slave. Master and slave. Master and slave. So when you're a master You can't overlook all all the all this stuff that's here. You're the representatives of the people who are from the wild. And what the wild means is not this technological stuff. All this technological stuff is is good as a tool and, and as a as its means, but that's that that's it. And you can switch thing you can switch things up so that you look good but do you switch things up so that you look good in a display of your real bravery you guys are all dumbing yourselves down for these people and I, and I can't understand why you guys are dumbing yourselves down and calling themselves masters And, 
and gurus and you guys are saying when you once I see that a lot of people are saying the same thing that's when I know that something's wrong something's happening now that's going really wrong okay everyone's wearing when everyone's wearing the same type of thing and saying the same thing then something's wrong when there's no old man on this this earth that I can see with a full uh, gray beard that's giving ancient knowledge and it is that isn't available for me then I, I can see that something's wrong in, in, in these these times so all you see is a whole bunch of people wearing the same thing saying the same thing so for non-duality say like yeah your mind's not you who, who are you who's the real you pointing you back towards yourself and that's it all these people are, are dressed the same look the same and they say that's it that's all there is it's easy It's not easy. If you want to be honest, you have to look at, into both spectrums, okay? This shit is not easy. The most difficult thing you'll ever do in your life is to become enlightened. The most difficult any any thing that any human being can do is to become enlightened. What you're supposed to do is to guide people in, into the right directions. Now, when they go to you, they already know what your message is. All these people go to you, and they're looking for some ki kind of uh, strange message that can answer a strange question for themselves, but then you just point them back at themselves. You're supposed to guide them through this life in, in the right direction. But they, they get there and they already know what you're going to say, but they still ask in hopes that, that you'll answer them the way that they want you to answer them, because there's not enough available and varieties of, of gurus around in the West. So what I want people to do is to be your own unique individual self-expression of the highest form of yourself. Forget the society of the West and the things that are bounding you between it. Me, I was wearing a, a full black robe around Canada. I was wearing this kimono around Canada. I wear these huge long beads around Canada. So, like, you guys can get away with it. You're, you're choosing not to to be safe. You guys are getting stuck with in, inside, and I'm telling you guys go the heck outside. Do exactly. Do. You guys can at least do that. Namaste, Namaskar. Like I would never see that from any of you guys. You guys just want to be accepted in society still. Because you're born with, with this society and to be taught that to be anyone you have to be something or someone. And the, but the only way to be something or someone is to be no one. You guys are trying to act as a no one within society to become someone so you can express your no one to someone as your disguise someone that seems apparently as no one that you don't care because you believe that the mind is no one. But your mind expresses itself. 
and your soul expresses itself. Your soul has a deeper expression than what the mind can understand. So if you're trying to bring it to terms that the West can understand, see, like, I understand what you guys are doing. Okay? Don't do it. Of course, the real master is going to expect authenticity all the time. Taking the steps to show that you care so much that you will go above and around other steps that were lim limiting you. So, you guys are not gurus, you guys are not masters. What are you? You don't want to display yourselves as normal human beings. You, be honest with you, to be honest with you guys, you guys are not normal human beings. You guys are enlightened people disguised as normal human beings. And in the West, West and in the whole world, the idea of a normal human being has been forced upon us by a collar, a collared shirt that every I see every single person wearing. You guys don't even look good in that collared shirt. You guys don't even look good in what you're wearing. The message doesn't get across of your mysticism, but it gets across that you're a normal person. What you're saying is not what a normal person says. So don't fool yourself. What you're, even what you're saying is not what a normal person says. The West is what's destroying the East. You're representing everything that's destroying what you're really representing but hiding. so easy to do what you guys do because you got that stuff from Muji you guys got that from Osho the idea of master master this master that and then you got the concept of who am I you're the eye behind the eyes that see and behind the thoughts that think you guys got that from Osho and you guys got that from Muji. Now I want you guys to be authentic. I want us to represent this eight day and age like we are still from the past. To bring the raw natural expression of God into people's lives. And God can express itself in different dimensions. You guys don't need to be enlightened right there. Okay? It, it makes no difference to them. They just want someone to be there so they can feel special. Because they could do the same thing you're doing. What you guys are saying and what you guys are doing is easy. Take the time and effort to represent our generation and, and this life represent the universe properly that means represent infinity properly okay you got you're just a grain of rice you guys are all just uh, oh, the same exact grain of rice in the bowl of rice in one in this day and age but you guys are mutations mutations of your original yeah. 
You guys don't even represent the English language well. Because you guys are just t expressing yourselves as wishy-washy, as representatives of the stuff that enslaves us. Saying everything wishy-washy and taking everything wishy-washy with this wishy-washy attitude. Like, oh, this is just nothing. Oh, that, that, that's whatever. Okay, whatever. Just, fo just look at this. Just, that, that, all that stuff is whatever. All that stuff is not just whatever. You guys know that. You just like, it's so friggin' common sense. From the very beginning of my enlightenment, I've been arguing against you, you type of people. Trust me, that you, you take anything I say and you say, oh, that's just nothing. When you, when you don't give people wisdom into every avenue and aspect of life, you guys are withholding your own wisdoms. So, like, the more you open yourself up and go into different avenues, that's the different questions people are going to be asking you, and the different type of so the different type of deep answers into different aspects of life that you can give based on what you know. Now, you guys are always just saying, "Oh, I'm an average person." Come on, you guys are not average people. And when you, so my point is that when you take everything and just say, oh, it's nothing. Because when your mind's nothing, then everything's nothing. We're from the West. That means some guy's gonna slap your face and you're, you're going with Jesus to say that's nothing. It means something. Something's there, something's there, and all the, the points of all these people in front of you, what they're, the point that they're making is that even though you say this is nothing, well, I can still say something that makes your, 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 what you say is nothing, seem like something, and it is something believably as a real reality for me, right in front of you, and so what are you going to say? You're going to say exactly what I, 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 I could predict that you're going to say. So I, I started doing the sad songs because just to see, just so I could see, because I knew that I could say the exact same thing you guys are saying only better. But as soon as, soon as I started doing my first set song, I, and I, I realized, you know, this is not the real path. This is not the, the, the true authentic path. The true authentic path is to express yourself fully as you really are. That means I would I never see any of you guys scream. I would never see any of you guys raise your voice. I would never see any of you guys almost like offend the person in front of you or... It's so wishy-washy nice all this peace life love stuff. You guys are being fake. There's two sides to the coin. The other side, one side is one side that you're hiding. And people are smart enough to know that you're hiding this other, the other side of that coin. People are smart enough, they're not that dumb. They know that there's more to it because they when they went into it they were they are afraid of it. Tell them both sides of it. It's not a peace love thing all the time. Tell them both sides of it. Tell them some mystical stories. How come I never hear any of your, your guys' stories, your mystical stories? Okay, this subject is words, okay? That means I can write a book on this whole thing. But what I say, click that button, subscribe! Click that button! Click that button! 